We've, uh, we've talked about some uh, some heroes that maybe we'd want on our side in a bar fight or, or whatever, but what we haven't talked about is bad guys we'd want to be friends with. Because let's be real, some of them are too powerful, there's no way the hero in that game would actually win, and you, you need to, you need to kind of look out for your future and, and, and make the right allies. GLaDOS would be a great enemy to be friends with, you know. Uh, she uh, she has all those witty one-liners. She's making you laugh all the time. You get to plan the test chambers with her. You know, you, you get to make the test chambers for those stupid humans to run through because you're not a human. You just, I don't know, you'd just be wearing like aluminum or something, disguise yourself as a robot, and you'd totally be friends. Uh, you'd have the cake. Finally, you could eat the cake. With she, I, I, you know she's got a bunch of cake hidden somewhere. Cake's she's alive. probably, and it's not, it's a lie for the people in the, in the chambers, but for you, it's a reality. The cake is a reality. Also, you, you probably just, you, you get access to the rest of the office. You don't really get to see that in the game that much. Some, a little bit in Portal 2, but, but maybe there's, you know, other cool stuff in the office. Maybe you can go around and watch the people in the test chambers. It'd be it's pretty fun. It's flooded with neurotoxin. It might be, it might be flooded with neurotoxin. Bosses I'd want to be friends with. How about, uh, let's take it, let's take it a little old school. Let's go Mortal Kombat Goro. I, there's no way that any bouncer is keeping you out of any bar ever if you have Goro as a friend. Oh, oh you, you do want to let us in. You want to, you'd rather let us in than get your arms ripped off. Good choice. Good decision, Goro. And then you high five Goro, and Goro's got all the high fives because he's got four arms. You're just like, high five, high five, low five. He's, well, they're not really fives because he only has like three fingers. And you make him feel better about it, and you buy him a drink. And you're like, girls, listen, Goro, girls don't even notice the three fingers. It's not even that noticeable, Goro, okay? You got four arms, you're ripped. You got a lot going for you. I mean, all you need now is to find a lady with four boobs. So, I don't know. <laughs> well, let me tell you who I would be their friend and then they would like me and then we wouldn't have to be enemies anymore. Psycho Mantis. Now here's the thing with Psycho Mantis. Telekinetic powers and he can read your mind. Where's the first place we're going, Psycho Mantis? Vegas, baby! So we go to Vegas and guess what? We're gonna play some craps first. And I'm gonna give him a little sign. I'm gonna give him like a little gesture, like a little sign language. I'm gonna be like, hmm, bing, bing. And he's gonna see that, and he's gonna know Joven needs an 11 right now. So I put all my money on the field, shooter shoots, rolls the dice, and guess what? 11! I just doubled my money. We're, 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 we're balling right now in Vegas. Let's get some more money. Let's go do some high stakes poker. So now he's just kind of sitting there in the audience, and he's, he's, he's like, huh, all right, he's, he's got two aces. Definitely do not call his bluff because he's not bluffing. And then you're like, I fold. And then all of a sudden, he's, he tells you, oh no, this time he's got nothing. You're like, all in, bitches! What is that their controller in controller part two? Well, then you're just The other boss I'd like to be friends with, Dr. Robotnik. Yes, the, uh, the, the guy with the weird mustache that likes to capture woodland critters. I don't know what he does with them other than, like, to make them robot critters. The reason I want to be friends with Dr. Robotnik is because he's captured all, all the woodland critters. How awesome would that? You're just hanging out with woodland creatures all day. Okay, he performs experiments on some of them. He turns them into monstrosities that are that are just affronts to, to nature. Personally, I can't stand the little beasts, and I'll be happy to get rid of them. But you get to play with them before they... It, it'd be like owning a farm, only instead of killing the, the animals eventually for the meat, you, you get to play with all the creatures, and then eventually they have to be taken away for horrible, terrible experiments that are the most painful thing they've ever experienced. But come on. You're just surrounded by little squirrels and chipmunks, and they're like, no, oh, you help us, save us. And you're like, oh, you're cute. And then they die. Another boss I think I'd like to be friends with, yeah, he was a huge jackass, but he was a funny jackass. I thought Handsome Jack was hilarious. I thought his lines were good, the way he delivered them, the, the, the fact that he had a uh, butt stallion. Butt stallion? Here, girl. Butt stallion. You know, I thought he was hilarious, even when he was threatening to kill you. I'd love to just hang out with him on a giant moon base and then just shoot robots down at people and crack jokes in their headphone. Like, uh, I notice you're still alive. Why don't you just kill yourself? Like, stuff like that. Uh, just yell at the vault hunters and uh, make them feel bad about themselves. Yeah, I, I mean, he's a sociopath and he'd probably stab you in the back. Maybe you stab him in the back first and take over his moon base or whatever. But I would, I would hang out with him for a little bit first and hang out with Butt Stallion. And the robots. Gotta have the robots. I don't think Handsome Jack, I think he gets a bad rap for a guy as funny as he was. I think if he had done stand-up comedy, he might have been very successful and less angry. The moral is, you're a total bitch. Let's go to the bossiest boss, or the, the boss who is boss. 
the boss of all the other gods. I'm looking at Zeus. And you're like, Zeus? That's not a bad guy. That's a good guy. He's king of the gods. And you're like, hey, guess what? God of War, he was the main boss. Didn't say he had to be a bad guy. He was just a boss. I would love to hang out with Zeus. First of all, this guy is a ladies' man. He'll come down to Earth and he'll be like, hey, you, bam, you got my baby. Hey, you, bam, you got my baby too. Everybody's just like, everyone's falling in love with Zeus. And you're like, this is bad. This is so many women just love and want to be around you. I'm going to hang out next to you. I'm sure I would, like, some of like the threes and fours would definitely trickle down for me. And then afterwards, you'd be like, hey, man, we just had a crazy romping night of picking up ladies. Let's go back up to Olympus. And I'm like, hell yeah, let's go up to Olympus, because guess what I'm going to be doing? I'm going to be getting my flirt on with Aphrodite and drinking with Bacchus. You know, just the, the nectar of the gods, whatever it might be. It's probably Mountain Dew, and that's okay. Drinking that with them, and then all of a sudden, I'd be like, man, I want to get some babies, too. I, I learned from the best. You would learn from the best. You go down back to Earth, and you're like, you. Bam, there's my baby. You, bam, there's my baby. I really want babies. That's why I'm single, because I have the baby conversation way too early in the conversation, you know? It's like, hey, what are you some of like his interests? Nice, you're into dancing. Hey, wanna have my baby? Single. You had Wolverine's claws, you were, oh, that'd be awesome, Wolverine's claws, and you could pop them out and just stab people with them. But the thing people don't realize is that when you have Wolverine's claws, it's coming through your skin every time.